But other than that, it just lives in Home Assistant, yeah. and I'm very happy having everything in Home Assistant. Um, and I just I share back the things that, like my locks, so like I can then talk to my Apple Watch and say, "Hey, open this lock or open that lock." Or um, I've recently set up yeah. um, uh, a garage. I don't have a garage. I live in an apartment. Um, there, there is no garage. But the garage is essentially mm -hmm. to try and get my my front door into um, CarPlay. So when I get home, I can tap the button to open the garage, get out the car, and just walk into the house without, um, you know, without having to talk to my watch separately or anything. That's interesting. So to unlock a door through the CarPlay, you have to use a garage, like a, a garage device. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that does make not, sense. Just because, yeah. again, otherwise it won't because it's lo registered as mm. a lock, right? So you sh you yes. normally would need a code or something of that sort to have it open. So essentially, you have a hack around it, right? It's essentially yeah, 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 yeah. So I actually but, have um, it calls a, a script which actually waits a minute and then unlocks uh, the doors, um, just because that gives me time to get out the car and grab my bag and everything else and walk over from mm -hmm. from my parking place to the door. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's a uh, one of those things that's just, I did not realize that I could do that until I was just browsing around on the Home Assistant docs and went, I could create a garage. Why has this not occurred to me before that I could, like, I don't have yeah. to have a garage with a garage door opener. I can just make one. Um, and, yeah. you know, it's it's kind of like the generic thermostat or the generic humidistat. Like, you just combine devices yeah. and put them together and it yep. tell HomeKit it's whatever you want it to be. And I think that that's one of the most yeah. powerful things of Home Assistant. It's funny. At, at some point, I'd actually done the exact opposite where my, uh, well, not exact opposite, but my, my garage door was essentially a switch, right? Because uh, at the time, I think uh, the Amazon Echoes didn't properly have an integration for covers. Uh, right. And, uh, or, or it, it, I forget exactly what it was. Maybe, maybe you needed a pen. There's, there's a couple of you things. You couldn't there. open them or close them or something? Like they had a restriction. Yeah, like you couldn't open way. it or something like that. So essentially, I made a switch with an automation to say, hey, go, go, uh, like, so I have to say, turn on the garage door rather than open it. But, you know, it, it's, it's just something that I got used to saying and then turn off or close it. And, but same thing, right? It's like sometimes it's, you got to work within, you know, whatever parameters, it's, it's a little odd, but yeah, if it yeah. works, it works. Yeah, precisely. And I think that's one of the things where maybe you don't take the most direct route, but you take a, a route that gets you where you want to go. Um, and the, the important part is remembering what the problem is that you want to solve, not necessarily how you need, how you're planning on solving it.